Here in front of you, you see the liver specimen. Borders or surfaces, anterior surface, diaphragmatic surface, posterior surface right here where you see the bare area and down below the visceral surface. Border wise, we just say right border, left border. There you can see the costal impression. Look at these small grooves here due to the ribs. The costal impression here. In the front, you can see this falciform ligament. Again, it is nothing but peritoneum attached in front. But in this, if you feel this, there's a cord like structure which is round, lig round ligament or ligament teres. Here is more clearer. You can see a very nice ligamentum teres entering. This was your umbilical vein. Ligamentum teres. Upper front, you can see how the falciform divided into coronary right and left. Triangular, you will not see here because the diaphragm has been removed, though the triangular is difficult to appreciate. Otherwise, this entirety is covered with peritoneum. That's why it's shiny. Coming to the back side, now you can see. Here is the bare area. All of these fibrous things you see here, it is not peritoneum, it is simply Gleason's capsule right over here. This is the caudate lobe. The caudate lobe is completely soft. You can see right over here, inferior vena cava. And I can pass my finger through this. Inferior vena cava. Inside, if you see, you will see openings. These openings are due to the hepatic veins. Hepatic vein openings. Achha. Coming over here again. Beside the chordate, there's a small groove here. Just like ligamentum teres was down below, right over here beside the chordate, there's a groove for the ligamentum venosum. Ligamentum venosum was also a vein originally. So <clears throat> that was again an embryology. So you don't need to focus on that. Coming to here. Impression for the fundus of the stomach, impressions of the pylorus, impression of the colon, the right colon, colon the colic flexion, impression of the kidney and suprarenal impression. The most important thing to know is this side, the porta hepatis. The porta hepatis is where you have the portal triad. Now I'll need a scalpel for this small scalpel there. Hold on. This, what I'm touching right now, this is the portal vein. You can see here, this what I'm opening is portal vein. Very nice portal vein you can see here. This opening right here, which is whitish, this is the opening of the common bile duct. Okay, at this point you may even call it cystic duct, but here, because it's meeting here, ah, it's the common bile duct. Here you can see the common bile duct. These small openings here, small openings for example you have to really focus here look at that small openings yes. that is your hepatic artery this hepatic artery is one of them most probably the right one this is a small hepatic artery this is a hepatic artery opening so these three all form the portal right in the portal patis the rest of it this is gall pad right over here again same thing as a quick review just tell me in this one which is a bit messed up here you can see very nicely how the inferior vena cava is passing behind it. Here you can see the renal veins. And from here the hepatic veins will meet with the inferior vena cava. And so beside this, very nice ligamentum teres, the round ligament, the gallbladder here. And what else can we see here? Here is the diaphragm. Look how nice the diaphragm is on this. If I were to extend this, that is your triangular ligament. And what space is this? Subphrenic space. The subphrenic space. Achha. Coming over it here. You see over here. Once again, falciform ligament in front. You can see the three. Here you can see very nicely the three hepatic veins opening. The three hepatic veins entering into the inferior vena cava. Over here, I can see a portal vein. I can see a the small one right here. The small one right over there. That is your hepatic artery. I remember, arteries will be the small one in this case. And the other one, obviously, is the bile duct, right and left bile ducts. So right and left bile ducts, actually, they're called hepatic ducts. They combine to form the common bile duct. Once again, the same thing, all same things over here. A bit of peritoneum you can see here. And very nice costal impressions over here. Very nice costal impressions. Very patent portal vein. Very patent portal vein. Common bile duct over here, and in between hepatic arteries, they are hidden. This was basically it. That's it. Thank you.